This is ADT 1160U, Digital Communication Technologies. The title of this video clip is Validate, then Share. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. What is the telephone game? What can happen when facts are shared before being validated? Name two strategies to validate factual knowledge. When Joe was a kid, he loved playing Chinese whispers, also known as telephone, operator, or pass the message. If you never played, it is easily explained. Kids sit in a circle, and one passes a message to the other until the message reaches the last person in the circle. This last person announces the message to the entire group. Errors in the message usually accumulate as the message is being repeated so that the final message is usually significantly different than the initial message. This game is played by kids, and it is usually amusing, but it has very important educational value. That is, with indirect communication, information gets corrupted. Many variations on this theme exist. Let's look at it from a public perspective. You may recall the events of the Asiana airline plane crash of July 2013. It was a very serious accident. Some people died and many people were injured and traumatized. In reporting the accident, KTVU, a Bay Area news station, published the names of the four pilots on air. The issue is that the names somewhat look Chinese, but were entirely inaccurate and derogatory towards Chinese people. Some people thought it was funny, but most people thought this was outrageous. KTVU said, that they had obtained confirmation by the NTSB, which is the National Transportation Safety Board in Washington. Apparently, a summer intern outside the scope of his authority acted erroneously by confirming the names of the flight crew. The NTSB fired the intern, and KTVU apologized for the mistake, but it is getting sued. Within the hours, the joke was all over social media, and there was no way to remove it. The damage was already done. If you want to know more about this, you can put simple keywords in your browser such as Asiana Airline, Crash, Pilot Names, and you will find tons of comments about this. So you can see that there's a big difference between the innocent child game called Chinese Whisper to the joke that was played on air about the names of the flight crew on board of the Asiana plane that crashed. While Joe purposefully changed the message he heard as he was playing with his friends just to be funny, the person who took responsibility for the KTVU prank lost a job. Several strategies exist to avoid making such mistakes. For example, one can triangulate the sources of information or ask for an external validation or conduct a post-validation check. The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. In the case of Asiana Airline, where did the problem occur in the validation of facts? What could have been done to avoid it? In your opinion, does that call for a revision of training within the company? And now that we have the benefit of insight, what can we do to educate children about validating and sharing information on social media?